All right, so here we are at the entrance to the Whirlpool in the Niagara Gorge. There's the Whirlpool. And what I want to show you guys is this fantastic example of Bernoulli's. So we have, you can, you can see the water is higher to the left. And as it goes through this narrow section, it both gets narrower and actually right about here, from what I understand, uh, it gets shallower as well. And in order to make our, to satisfy conservation of mass, because all of the water that falls down from the Niagara Falls has to flow through this portion right here, which is mind boggling. Um, in order to do that, it has to speed up, right? And so um, the flow here has to satisfy two constraints. One is it, uh, it, it must satisfy Bernoulli's to a degree, right? There's a lot of viscous losses here. You can see all of this uh, rotational flow and all these viscous losses that are occurring as the water tumbles and tumbles and tumbles over itself. But it still has to satisfy to a degree Bernoulli's, right? You have to turn potential energy into velocity energy in order to move faster. And it has to satisfy conservation of mass. All of the water that goes down from the falls has to fall flow through this section here. And so the combination of the two results in a high water level over here that you can actually see it come down and turn into velocity. And then as the cross-sectional area widens for the, for the uh, uh, whirlpool, you get a hydraulic jump because all that velocity now it's actually lower here than it is in the whirlpool. The hydraulic, uh, all that kinetic energy has to turn back into potential energy a little bit to slow it down so that it can um, spread out because its velocity has to spread out because conservation of mass says that the bigger the cross-sectional area, the lower the velocity, right? It's a little bit more complicated than that because obviously the whirlpool has some rather complicated uh, flow patterns in it. But still, it, the, the basics still hold. Potential energy, the kinetic energy and then back the potential energy although obviously lower amounts of potential energy because there's a tremendous amount of viscous losses here um, yeah fantastic